All right, you guys, what is this? What do we got here? It's Leatherface. Leatherface. And I'm so excited. We we bought it. And I was, I was like, when is dad going to buy this? And I'm so surprised that you bought this. It's Can so cool. Can we turn another spooky and, and this kind of, this part, this the, the leather that face. part, um, if the face kind of looks like a mask. What do you think? Do you like it? If anyone likes yeah. my bow. Give it a thumbs up. <laughs> All right, look at that. Motion activated scan for video. This is from uh, uh, Party City. Hey guys. Or they're calling themselves Halloween um, City for October. Guys, um, Let's take a look. <laughs> oh. Wanna open it up and take a look? Okay, open it up, Emily. Whoa, look, there he is. Huh? What's that stick it? There he is, done. Oh, come on. And they got the instructions up here. Um, Probably the AC power supply and some other things. The tool. And His hair yeah, we'll take looks him out. kind of fluffy. Yeah, that's good. That's what we want. So we'll take him out of there and see what he's all about. Here are the instructions for Leatherface. Um, looks like you got about 18 parts, including the power supply. Uh, so you just got to do a kind of visual check, but it looks pretty easy. Once you get everything together, all the pieces you have the base you have the legs the shoes the clothes the speaker box which it looks like it's adjustable so you can adjust the volume and on the back side a few extra st uh, steps and usual connecting the springs um, which are to get them to shake and everything and then you got the chainsaw and all that stuff once the springs are in should be pretty easy. Then yeah, you have a speaker jack so you can connect an external speaker. And then you have the trigger jack. So if you have like a step pad or something like that. Um, looks like you could do batteries as well, which is really cool. I didn't know you could do batteries. So I may try it out with some batteries. All right, let's go ahead and get the pieces unboxed. Ooh, one of my favorite pieces here, I can already tell is, it's the chainsaw actually. So there's his hand holding onto the chainsaw. All right, look at that. So, best thing to always do is take the pieces out and set it, set them all aside so you can see where everything is at. So when you go to assemble everything, it makes it a lot easier to just have everything all right out in front of you. <laughs> It's always easiest. Gotta face them out so you can see the letters on there. There's an A, A, B, and C, so we know how everything connects. All right. Hey, look at this piece. That's the part of the chainsaw. Look at that. That's scary. Is that scary? Or look, it's even got thick oh, lid on it. Oh, it might be real sharp. No, it looks sharp, but it's it's plastic, so it's fake. So we're just gonna keep putting all the pieces out and just kind of setting everything aside so that we know exactly where everything is. So I'm gonna to continue to go ahead and unbox. And just take all the other stuff, the other part of the chainsaw here. Just set everything down, off to the side until everything's out. And not too many pieces, about 18 pieces. So let me just keep taking these out. Looks like here are the shoes here. And part of the hip base, and then of course the head, the mask and everything, and the base. All right, so I'm gonna keep putting those out to the side. Okay, we're getting everything out. Putting things out to the side here. All right. All right. He's leather face. That's the base part. Look, we got base. them all out. How do we spell base? So we have leather face. That is how we spell base. B A S E. Is it B first? Yep. So Scout's gonna mark the base for us. And we've got leather face, we got the boots, we got the basically all the insert pieces, the poles, arms, and everything else, the foam legs, and uh, the chainsaw. So 
we're pretty much all set to go and start building. And we got the base here, and they even label it, which says the front, which is very nice. Sometimes you don't get that. Um, even though it's sometimes seems easy, it can get confusing when there's a lot of parts. Um, but that's everything, so we're gonna go ahead and let's take a look at these instructions again. We just gotta always kind of follow what they say here. This is the back. Let's see where things begin here. And basically the front, and it's saying connect A to A, B to B. Then we're gonna slide the clothes on. So that's pretty easy. Everything's labeled pretty precisely. So the base obviously um, is gonna have an A written on it. If these get, if the seeds get, and B. If the, oh. So you put A to A and B to B. Um, which is B right there. And then this one here looks like the other leg, which is A. So very easy, A, A, B, B, just line them up and connect them. All right, once we get the base set up, uh, before you put the poles on for the legs, which are gonna connect A and A, B and B, you wanna make sure you put the boots on. The right boot is this one with the cutout in it. So his right, so facing you would be the right. So that's gonna connect on there. And then we're gonna do the same thing with his left boot. That one's just gonna slide on there. Kind of locks down. So once you get the boots on, it's as simple as connecting each piece kind of as they go alphabetically. Um, a lot of the props do this now, which makes it easier. Uh, we have B, see on the post and then you have on these guys pretty much the same thing here you'll have these labeled we got a and that's labeled same thing goes for pretty much everything else all the other parts have labels where everything is going to connect but let's go ahead and connect these pieces now that we got the boots on so again you just gotta match them up. Make sure you know which one's which. You'll see that's B. That's where B is gonna connect. So we'll go ahead and connect B and we'll connect the other leg here. All right, there's B. So we'll slide that in and it just clicks in just like that. Let's just close. Once we get the legs on, and we bring out these clothes. We're gonna slide them up and over the legs so that we can start putting things together with this torso and everything. Yep, there you go. So we're gonna push it in. And then you can hear click. There we go. And then this thing, gotta make sure it just slides, slides down to where this part is seen, which is D. And on this side, you got C. So. Yeah, we are making some progress. Looking, this is where we're at right here. We got this, and it says, snap the leg on the base, B to B, which is what we did. Now it's saying to push the clothes up over, and then we're gonna grab this part here, uh, which is C and D. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide the clothing on over the legs. Uh, one way to know what's the front and back is obviously the back has these back pockets on the back so you know which side's the front. So just make sure you slide it into the front and then we're gonna start connecting the torso. All right, we got the pants on and the next thing is connecting the center pieces, which is C and D. So C and D are just gonna connect right here. All right, the next thing we need to connect is the torso type piece here. Uh, C, D, and E are actually one entire piece. So you have C, D, and E. And again, those are just gonna line up right here. And Emily, do you wanna help me do this? No, are you too scared? Okay, look, look, these are gonna line up right here. So C is gonna line up right here, and D is gonna line up right here. Just gonna connect those there, and then we'll move on to E. 
All right, now that we've got this part on, next thing we need to do is literally get this guy connected. Um, go ahead and take off that piece of bubble wrap there. And that's E, very explanatory, where E connects, E connects to E. So just line that up, we're gonna snap that in and we will have one of the body assembled here. So let me go ahead and do that, kind of one-handed here. Very easy, even with one hand. And, wow, he is tall. He's about six feet, six inches. And, yeah, we have all these wires we're gonna have to connect, so. All in all, let's see how things go. Let's keep connecting. We'll have to connect the arms. I think next is this base piece. And we're getting really close to the finish line already. All right, now that I got that on there, uh, there's literally only one wire here to connect. Everything else is already connected. O was already pre-connected to O. P was already connected to P. It did say to connect F to F, but that was already assembled in the box for us. So we don't have to take that apart. I guess that's optional when you're breaking it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and just connect the lone wire here, which is N. And that's just gonna connect to the other end. I'm just gonna snap those in. And just like so, hit that little click. And it is connected. I'm gonna keep those up the side. And we're gonna need these springs here soon. But the next piece we're gonna need is like this torso, little plastic piece here, which is, I guess his rear, and that's gonna connect here onto these little latches. You'll see the, yeah, the green and the red. I wonder if they color code it here. No, that's just gonna slide on right into there. Green, red, slide, slide. Simple as that. Now that we got that on there, we got these big heavy duty springs here. Those are gonna connect here. You can obviously see yellow goes to yellow. Blue will go to blue. You just gotta apply a little bit of force, get those latched on there, just like that. And now the springs are connected, so when he turns on, he could shake around and see what the, the spring will give him some extra balance. All right, next thing we need to do, now that we have the springs all connected and everything, is we're gonna pull his clothes back up and over him up to his shoulders. And then on the sides here, we have these little notches here that connect. That's where the shoulder pieces are gonna plug in here and here, which are these little guys here, which we have J and H. And then those are gonna connect to the arms once the arms are connected with the chainsaw, we'll, plug, we'll connect the chainsaw blade and then put his apron on. And I think from there, we're pretty much done. All right, so I'm just pulling his clothes up and over. Careful not to snag any wires and not to undo any of the latches in here. But we're gonna keep pulling this over each arm until we get up to the shoulders. And yeah, just like that, we wanna just See that came unlatched, very easy for those to come unlatched. So you could, I think, access from the back, but you gotta make sure those stay down as we get the clothing back up to the top here. All right, got the clothing all connected here on the sides. Gonna start connecting the arms. One thing to note, the tie, that's where the sensor is hidden. So if you have it in sensor mode for motion, if someone walks by, it is hidden the tie. There is a wire that's going through it that connects. So be very careful of that, not to snag it and pull on it or break it. I've had that issue with the other props in the past. Um, those sensors are hanging on very loosely, so be very careful. That's where the sensor is if you decide to go with that. Personally, I'm gonna use the foot pad. I found this year I really like those a lot. A lot of people like stepping on the foot pads, so that's what I'm gonna go with. But the sensor is there if you choose that, just sitting there on the tie. So last steps pretty much is rolling up the sleeves. We're gonna be putting these little shoulder pieces on. It says to match G to G and H to H. Once we get those matched up, it says connect the left hand, which is I, and the right hand, which is J. 
and then we're gonna have K, which is the chainsaw here, L, which is the handle, and we're just gonna put the hands together. Once they're together, we're gonna put on his apron and connect the saw blade. All right, so we got one side in. We're gonna do the other side. Just feel it. Just go in there and cl we'll click down. Feel that click. So now we got J, which is holding the, the chainsaw, and I, which is holding the other part of the chainsaw with a handle. Those are just gonna line up here, I, <clears throat> and here, J. All right. And then, a little jingle. He's got this cool little bell here, and some cool detail. Yeah, we got that on there. And you can see there's this little notch around his arm. And that's where the elastic is gonna, gonna slide this up. Not try it. There we go, kinda like that. You know, if it has any problems staying, I'm sure you can glue it or zip tie it. So now we're gonna do the same to the other arm. Catch this piece here. But I think before I do that, I'm gonna connect the chainsaw blade. It looks like it just connects right in there and locks in. It looks like that's the way it goes with the blood facing out. Click that in there. Check that out. The saw is family. That is pretty cool. If you want to touch it up, you can. All right, it's time to get that chainsaw bugger up there, up in his arms. So let's go ahead and connect that side as well. Same thing that we did. I'm gonna try to do this one-handed and get that in there. The next thing we need to do is connect these chainsaw pieces K to K, and those will just connect right in there in these little spots here. The one bummer I'm gonna ding this prop on is the paint is already starting to peel off. It is peeling off very easily if I just rub my hand over it. So I will have to repaint this eventually, probably soon, um, even over here. So that's the one bummer. Other than that, it looks great. Um, but yeah, that's one thing I'll have to address in the near future, is getting that touched up. All right, so the apron, you're just gonna put it up and over his head. There's a piece of Velcro, that's where the tie is gonna connect on the back of the tie. You can connect it to any of this. Um, there's some adhesive. And then, yeah, once we get that over his head, we're just gonna tie it from the back and we're literally done after that. In the back, um, what's cool is that it'll take battery or AC power. So if you're running out of power supply spots in your haunt like I am, I'm gonna try battery power. We also have a volume control knob, speaker jack for an external speaker. And then the other thing is we have the external trigger for a step pad. So we have some cool options here, which I'm really happy about. So let's go ahead and get the apron on and give this thing a test run. All right, Scout, you ready to see what he's gonna do? Yeah, look at the blood, that adds detail. That's right, look at the blood on the chainsaw. Yeah, we should add a little bit of black on this to okay. pretend that it been in a forest or a garden okay. or a haunted god garden. Okay. To like pretend Make it look that like he... it's even more grungier and yeah. used and worn, that's a good idea. Hey, do you want to um, turn it on and see what it does? All right, here, I'm gonna go in the back here. I'm gonna switch it to, I'm gonna turn the volume up a bit and do motion only. All right, come over here. You have to wave in front of them. <gasps> You want to do it again? Sure. I'm gonna um, pretend this is gonna be 
this is gonna be F. Texas Chainsaw Massacre.